is it auto saving? How do I? I mean, I'm not complaining, but it never happened before, did it? Save and rest. I know. Wait, fifteen minutes. Save on the character menu. Character menu. Xbox controller. What? I don't know. I'm not playing with Xbox controller. As you can probably tell. Actor fade. Footsteps. Um. I don't know. Whatever. What was I uh, talking about? Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I think I'm pretty good at uh, creating backstories. So you're the oh. one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. How nice to meet you. I'm here for the books from the college. So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. That's disappointing. You show real promise. You come here, kill my assistants, disrupt my work. You've annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving you anything. Aww. May I please have the books? Let me leave with the books and there won't be any trouble. Fine. Take them and be gone. Never return here or else you'll face my full wrath. Can I talk to you? Or are you gonna get angry at me? Yes. No. Sure. Knight of the Tears, Draenor Seleth. Sarthar holds a prominent place in Skyrim history, even if most do not remember it by name. It was of course the site of one of the first major Nord settlements, one of the first cities of men in Skyrim, and the earliest known capital of our civilization. It was also the site of terrible bloodshed when the elves attempted to drive the Nords out of Skyrim to succeed only in incurring their wrath in the form of Isgrimor. <coughs> And his fabled 500 companions, who swept the elves from Skyrim and firmly established it as the home of the Nords. All this is known, but little else. What happened on that night of tears, when Sarth was raised to the ground, what provoked the elves to such a deliberate, vicious attack, and what prompted such a severe response from the Nords? Vingalmos Tretis on the Altmer then suggest that the elves, elves of the Merithic era, along with their counterparts, the early Dwemer, possessed a degree of sophistication unparalleled in Tamriel. They displayed power beyond what could be expected of the time. While a distinct explanation is not given for this, I believe that this work, compared to the early writings of Gzaf, suggests that something greater was at work on that night in Sarthar. The true motives behind the Night of Tears have been obscured to us by the passage of time, but I believe that this was not a simple war of territory or of control of Skyrim. I believe that what happened was a significant event based around something very particular. The Nords found something when they built their city, buried deep in the ground. They attempted to keep it buried, but the elves learned of it and coveted it for themselves. Thus, they assaulted Sarthar, their goal not to drive the Nords out but to secure the, this power for themselves. I believe Isgrimor knew something of what the elves would find under Sarthar, and relied together, rallied together uh, his people to keep the elves from gaining it. When Nords once again controlled Skyrim, this power was buried deep below the earth and sealed away. Time has kept this knowledge from us, but it is my hope that time will also reveal the truth of these words. Every effort will be made to relocate Sarthar and find that which has been lost to us. Boring. <sighs> the last king. Yeah, sorry, this is... 
I'm not interested in these looks. I'm just gonna grab them and bring them to the to the boss man. Return the books. And uh, hey lady. Lady. No sad times. Oh, maybe that door, the one near uh, prison, cages, not cages, but you know, cells, that door that I didn't uh, check out, and maybe that's the shortcut in it. Skit, skit, bang, bang. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm pretty good at creating backstories, not, you know, improvising or anything like that. But, uh, for example, you know, in d and I ju I just love making characters. Um, we made, I made one character, a mage, oh crap, what is this? You can't hide from me. Why, how did I miss this? Dungeons, can I unlock dungeons? Where was where will this lead me to? Yeah, I don't care. So I got the books. I could go back to the main Yeah, I'll I'll go you know what? Let's we pretty much we are well kinda done with the companions, so let's just focus on Mage's Guild. And then the main quest, or no, actually Thieves Guild maybe, I don't know. Well, first let's just focus on the Mage's Guild. And then we'll do all the other stuff. Although I might go to Whiterun and then take the carriage. To uh, Winterhold. I don't really want to fast travel. Like I did that one time. Oh! Oh. Okay. Well, that answers my question. There probably is some loot behind that chick. You know, the door that I could have unlocked. But uh, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. Not my problem. Not my problem, man. Skid, skid, bang, bang. Let's just get a little up on here. Ugh. But yeah. I'm not gonna continue my story. You don't care. You don't care about my stories. You just want me to see fly Skyrim and all that stuff. Okay, let's, uh... Let's, uh, actually, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, white run is closer. Let's go here and then take the carriage. I've been playing for quite some time. When I took that short break, the, I already have, was I already have recorded an hour of footage. So that's three ah. episodes. Now, now this, I'm not sure how long I've been playing for now, but probably half an hour. So that's another well, two episodes soon. And, um, well, I don't really plan to stop anytime soon, or at least, you know, not before I get to Winterhold. So that's easily gonna be five episodes. Maybe six. Yeah, probably six episodes, or five episodes, but the last one will be longer. Like half an hour long. Wait, is that where... Okay. you dare attack me, boy. Oh, did I aggro him? I don't think he was uh, attacking me until I casted the spell on him. You know what? Found this windmill yet? Or farm? Pecalius farm or something? No, Pecalius hipbone, wasn't it? Battleborn, of course. Battleborn and then Grey. Grey. Grey mirror? Grey. Grey people? No. Battleborn are the Imperial fans, fanatics. Grey horn, grey people are the storm clothes. Yeah, I don't really. I mean, I, I never participated in the civil war. I plan to, of course. Although I heard that it's pretty boring. That uh, they kind of uh, tease you with this. Oh, it's gonna be a huge battle. You no, know, defending a castle or attacking a castle, but. But uh, when it comes to that, it's pretty boring. Kind of like... Uh, th that reminds me of Assassin's Creed 3. Where in the trailer it shows, you know, uh, Connor running towards red coats and then... Just like jumping... Uh, like dodging the, the, you know, the line of fire. Jumping in the crowd and killing whoever he was killing there. Whereas in the, in, in the game, in the actual game, uh, there's nothing like that. There's a one mission I remember, uh, I think that takes place in, 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 the, uh, in the same place as the trailer. Uh, but uh, you have to just run from cover to cover, which is boring. Um, I mean, yeah, it makes more sense, but, but still, the, the, there wasn't really... You know, Assassin's Creed 3, even though I really love the, like, American history of you know, Civil Wars and all that, uh, it wasn't that interesting. No, the story, the story, oh, dude, the, the, the twist, uh, when playing as Hathan, I think his name is, uh, oh, that twist, man, that was, that was really cool. Um. Wait. I know but other than that, you know, it was an okay game. I like the story, but not the the combat. And yeah, when I I'm not sure how it is on PC, but on Xbox they changed the controls um, to I guess make it harder. But it was just annoying. I hate changes. Uh, wait, why am I here? I don't know. Let's talk to people, I guess. I'd be dead if not for Vignor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. I don't remember who Vugnar is, but uh, there is still the threat of a dragon attack. We've done attack? as much as we can to prepare for that. But remember, Whiterun is home to the companions. Any dragon that comes here will get more than he's bargained for. I think. You think? Okay. Farewell, sir. 
Hey. What do you need, my friend? Oh, I've friends. been tending to the warriors at your basker for as long as I can remember. I don't know what I'm. Oh, hey, hey, guys. You're back. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Looking for war. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Am I looking for work? Sure. Aren't you already running a job for Ayla? Come Until talk to time. me when you finish that up. But I have. Inhale the fumes. Oh. Yeah, the Kajik guy and all that. Defeat the giant. Doing any quests for me. Vilkas said you're the new Codlac. I don't know what that means, but you seem honorable, so that's good. I'm looking for one. Aren't you already running a job for Ayala? Come talk to me when you finish that up. Guess uh, I just have to wait some in game time. Until or maybe time. I need to talk to you, don't I? You're someone who can get things done. No. I like that. I mean, yes, but no, I don't need to talk to you. Okay, wherever. Let's uh, let's go to our home, take a nap, uh, put those bones away, all the ingredients. Actually, I might make a few potions. You know what? Since we're here, we rarely go to cities. Uh, at least the ones where we have a home. Um, let's just chill a little bit, craft a few things, you know, enchant. Let me put this away. Um, pow. Pow, pow, pow. Okay. That's it, I think. Do I have anything to put it here? Wait, that's a chest. Ah, uh, no. This, maybe. 20% health. Uh, sure. I don't know why I have this. Clavicius. I think this is gonna be stuck in my inventory. That's okay. And uh, here, no, here. Yes. Um. You guys, you guys. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Oh yeah, ingredients. Hey, Lydia. Actually, like, yeah, let's let's make. Oops, no, not now. Uh, sick wall. Damage health. Canister trooper. Paralysis. 